All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name's Kermit, and this is a 1973 Camaro. It's a big block car, four speed. It's got all the fixings on it. We're gonna go and uh, take it outside. We're gonna fire it up. We're gonna take it for a drive with you guys, of course, in the car. We're gonna go around the outside of it, open the doors, put it up on the lift, the whole nine yards, so you make a good decision in your uh, muscle car investment. So, let's start. All right guys, starting from the front of the car, I mean, I just love the color on this thing. The paint is as deep as it gets. I mean, they put quite a bit of clear on this thing and they did a good job of sanding it out too. I mean, it's nice and flat. You see, all the body lines are nice and crisp. I love the stripes on these things. Always accents them and makes them look really good. Oh, and it's actually a, a split bumper uh, front end on the thing too, which is cool. Z28 badges. I love the wheels and tires too. There's nothing more muscle car than those uh, them five spoke mags. And it is the uh, billet outer ring on them too. Uh, BF Goodrich radial TAs, just like a muscle car should be. Moving forward, I mean, you can see like, for, for example, your hood gap is perfect. Your door gap is perfect. It's got the uh, nice painted mirrors, color matched on the car. Door opens nice and easy. All of the... Uh, Door jam paint is in great shape. Door sill is in great shape. Looks like everything's uh, nice and tight on this thing. Weather stripping. Let me look at that. It's beautiful. Everything on this. I mean, all the way around. Feeling up underneath the doors. No rust. Even in behind the uh, weather stripping where a lot of the water likes to collect, nothing there. It's just it's beautiful. This thing, they did a good job when they restored it. They probably took the car entirely apart, painted it just as it should be. Closes just that easy. Quarter looks good, everything through here. Lenses all look like they're in place. Uh, deck lid, that looks all nice and straight. The whole back of the car looks like it's in good shape. Over here to the other side. I mean, glass looks like it's in, it's in really good shape. All the trim looks like it's been taken off. And a lot of the time you can tell whether a car was painted properly by looking in the crease of this uh, trim piece here. And a lot of the time you'll see a lot of paint like on the actual trim piece itself. This thing was probably stripped down to nothing before it was, uh, you know, they started their restoration just the way it should be. And that's where you get the fit and finish that this car has. Looking at the quarter, I mean, it looks, I mean, it's beautiful. I'm pretty sure that the, whoever did this spent a lot of time on the body work. I mean, he did a very good job and he picked a really beautiful color for the thing. Passenger door opens right up, no problems there. Weather stripping feels like it's all in good shape. Mirror nice and solid. I mean, bottom of the door on this side, same as the other. I mean, you can feel it. It feels almost as if they wet sanded underneath this thing. I mean, it feels like glass. It's beautiful. Door closes just that easy. And especially with these bigger door Camaros, you often see a lot of uh, hinge sagging and things like that where the doors don't like to close. Very easy. It's in really good shape. And you can see your gaps here and there, great shape. Hood gaps, great shape. All the trim looks great. Got disc brakes in the front. Let me see here. You do have the stock drums in the back. We're going to get more to that on the undercarriage section of the video. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. Let's check out the interior. All right, guys. Door panels and the interior of the car looks every bit as good as the outside. Looks like it's brand spanking new. Door panels, they look beautiful. I mean, everything here looks to be tight and right. It's not missing any of the fasteners like you often see. You got the remote mirror on this car, which is cool. Um, door sill looks like it's in good shape. You can see the carpet, brand new in this thing. I mean, it's just perfect. It is a four speed as well too, which that's an added bonus, at least for me. Uh, I love four speeds. Let's see here, pedals, no wires hanging out from underneath of the dash. The seat upholstering looks beautiful. I mean, even on, let's see here if I can figure out how to fold this thing up. Let's see, excuse me, I'm not Camaro literate, but uh, anywho, the, the back of it looks beautiful. Uh, Steering wheel looks like it's in good shape. Dash looks like it's in good shape. I mean, back seat, beautiful. Uh, looks like it was reupholstered at the same time as the front seats. Seat belts are all there. I mean, shifter boot looks like it's brand new. A lot of the time those rip. Dashboard or the dash pad, beautiful. I mean, there's no uh, 
cracking or anything like that. These things always get sunbaked and get destroyed. And the remanufactured ones are generally not as nice as the originals, and this one fits perfectly. Let's go check out the uh, passenger side. All right, guys, this door panel looks really good as well. It's a little bit of a nick there, maybe somebody's shoe or something of that nature. No, no big deal. It's really, really good shape. You gotta be looking for it to even find that. Coming down here, carpet looks like it's in great shape. Uh, seats look like they're in good shape, and I did happen to find the lever to actually actuate these seats. So, I mean, as you can see, back of the seat looks great. All the upholstery, none of it's ripped, especially here when you generally find it. Seat belts are all there, not tucked in behind the rear seat like you often see. The package tray in the back, that piece uh, that is behind the rear windshield there, that looks great. A lot of the time those get uh, kind of nasty and rotted away. Underside of the dash looks good. I mean, everything about this car, just like a fit and finish that uh, you don't often see on these things when they're restored. Let's go check out the trunk. All right, guys, trunk looks like it's in really good shape. I mean, you can see here all of our weather stripping, beautiful shape, all of the jam here. It was all in really good shape. They did a very good job of this. Um, you can see the underside of the deck lid's in good shape. They've got all the bumpers all there. I mean, once again, I can't stress enough like the fit and finish of these cars that we try to have here at Vanguard. Um, a lot of the uh, original wiring is still intact here, not all haggled, not all taped. Uh, the trunk floor looks like it's in great shape. I don't see any evidence of a patch being in here. You can reach your hand down inside here and it doesn't feel like there's any seam. Ouch, I just bumped my head. <laughs> you know, that there was uh, quarters ever put on the car. If you look down in there, which the, you're not going to be able to see with the camera, I can see that the, uh, the back of the seat looks like it's you know, not all destroyed like you often see where mice have gotten into these things. So, this thing is you know, very high quality restoration for this car. And just to show you that the trunk works, make sure I got keys in hand. Just like that. I get the key in there. I mean, perfect, there's nothing wrong with that. Man, look at the definition on the rear of this car, it looks great. Well, I guess uh, nothing to do now but to drive it. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. the 1973 Camaro. This is a four-speed car, which means it's more fun to drive than uh, automatic cars, I mean, obviously. Let's see here, we got a functional speedometer, it looks like. Our temp gauge is doing something, fuel gauge is doing something. No poles or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab third. We're in third gear and we're doing about 25 mile an hour, just above idle. This thing is probably geared pretty long-legged, so that's uh, real good for freeway mileage, gas mileage in general. And I'm wondering how the torque of this motor is going to work against it because this engine does have quite a few little performance goodies on it. Coming up to our stop sign here, it handles very, very well. Okay. All right, we're in neutral, hand off the wheel, hitting the brakes. Brakes work pretty good, and it doesn't pull. We're going to go first gear, transmission shifts very well. All right, going to kind of get up to speed a little bit. Got a little bit of something to it. I think she runs pretty good. Fourth gear, and we are like idling at like 30 miles an hour. We got a trucker here that's pulling out here. <laughs> Gonna grab us first gear yet again. I think he just complimented us. <laughs> Yeah, you'll get used to that when you drive these things. People, people just always gawking at you. Sometimes you got to be careful though, because when they're looking at your car, and they're not paying attention to what they're doing. We've all had that happen before. Um, hey, look at that! The horn works. Second gear shifts very, very well. Steering wheel's nice and straight. So we can go for third gear. I mean, just idling. Look at that. Geared very, very free, freeway friendly. I can tell that, and I'll tell you exactly what the gear ratio is when I get it up on the hoist here in just a little bit. Um, as far as the shop goes, we're uh, Vanguard Motor Sales, as you know. We're located at 15100, that was a seatbelt, 15100 Keel Street. And uh, if you want to uh, come out and look at this car, just uh, make sure to call Tommy before you come out to make sure that this uh, Camaro is actually here. 
And also, if you want to have a professional inspector come out and take a look at the car, we can also accommodate that as well. You can throw it up on the hoist for him, take it for a ride, throw it on the hoist for you, take you for a ride, whatever you uh, decide. Gonna get into it one last time here a little bit. Yep, pretty good. Third gear. None of the mirrors are rattling or anything like that. The car doesn't rattle or anything. Very nice. Brakes work, I mean, very well. First gear. Synchros and the transmission are very good. I'm not double clutching or anything like that, which is just, a, just something I do out of habit. You don't need to in this thing. It shifts absolutely fine. I do believe the carburetor on this is also a DZ model carburetor, which would make it for like a 302 Camaro, like 69 model year or something like that. But more on that in just a second. Coming up to the shop, pulling in here, hitting the bumps, no squeaks or rattles or anything like that coming out of the front end, which means all the bushings are good, nice and tight. And that's it, guys. We're going to throw her up on the hoist here. All right, guys, this is what the underside of a really awesome 73 Camaro looks like. Starting from the back, you can see you got a brand new gas tank in the thing, brand new straps, the whole nine yards. Uh, moving forward to that, we got our leaf springs. They look like they've just been replaced. This looks to be a five-pack leaf spring in this thing. All the bushings look like they're in good shape on the shackles. It's something we take always take a look at. Uh, this here, we got our factory rear sway bar in this thing. Exhaust poking out here. More on that in just a second. Uh, but more about the rear end. This uh, is a GM 10 bolt, and more specifically, it's the 8.5-inch ring gear 10 bolt. Is what I believe it to be, which means it's the stronger of the two 10 bolts that you can get. Um, like I said, it is posi, and uh, it houses about a 2.40 uh, 1 to 1 gear ratio in it, uh, which basically means this thing is going to be extremely highway friendly. This thing, you could jump, jump this thing up on the interstate, not overtax the big block engine, and you could do 70 mile an hour in the thing very, very easily all day long. No problem. And it actually surprised me that the uh, rear end ratio is what it was because the engine actually felt as torquey as it did. So. Uh, positives, I, I would have to say. Um, doesn't surprise me that this isn't loose because there was no rattling in the car whatsoever as far as, uh, you know, drive shaft vibration or uh, U-joint vibration. We always check this stuff, you know, all of our mechanics go through it. Rear uh, brakes or drums, we also go through those entirely, make sure that there's no uh, misadjustments, uh, misassemblies, leaking wheel cylinders, the whole nine yards. Um, the exhaust, you can see it's obviously custom on the thing. You got uh, axle dump exhaust here with a uh, looks like three inch pipe here. I, I believe this is actually a three inch pipe and it does step down to the uh, smaller diameter so that it can hook it up to your factory uh, manifolds that this uh, engine has. Floorboards don't look like, like they've ever been patched. I can't find a single seam in these things where a patch panel has been installed on them and they're in great shape. They're not even pitted. <clears throat> so very, very nice. And also, this thing has the subframe connectors, very, very performance oriented thing to keep the body nice and straight when you're doing, you know, crazy things and these things like they always used to do back in the day. Um, so there's another uh, positive performance upgrade on this thing. Transmission. This is a Muncie M21. Uh, this particular transmission was made, I believe, March 31st of 1970. So it is a 70 model year uh, transmission, M21. And uh, as you saw in the driving video, it shifts great. We got a stock style bell housing here and moving forward here underside of our big block chevy it's a 396 but i'll tell you more about it when we get to the top we got a sway bar here everything looking good there it's not cracked we got new end links on the thing and uh, while we're on the subject of front ends i mean feels nice and tight a lot of the time you see sloppy idler arms and stuff like that of course here at vanguard we always change it but uh this one didn't need anything this thing is actually perfect and uh, we had a mechanic professional mechanics shake these things down check them out make sure that everything's right um, it looks like it's had a recent alignment and I can tell that from alignment shims that you can see and we'll get once again to that when we get up to the top of the car um, all the boots look like they're in excellent shape I mean it looks like the lower and upper ball joints were replaced just recently along with the sway bar end links tie rod ends I mean all that has boots on it uh, most of the stuff is greasable too which means that it's a higher quality part and we do have disc brakes on the front and uh, I do believe these are all actually are all power on this car too, which is another positive. So without, uh, yeah, I think that's about it here. Let's uh, check out the wheels and tires. All right, guys, we got a set of BF Goodrich radial TAs on it. Uh, 235, 60R15 is the size. We do got disc brakes here, as I mentioned just a second ago. Um, 
I really like these muscle car rims, the five spoke uh, like torque thrust style mag, beautiful. I mean, nothing screams muscle car like that rim right there. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, we got the same good looking wheel and tire back here. BF Goodrich, radial TA, uh, 245 60 R15, so a little bigger in the back. It's a muscle car. You want that rake stance. They just, they've been doing it for years. It looks cool. Uh, five spoke mag, same as the front, good looking muscle car rim. And you know, this is where you always stick your hand you know, behind all this stuff to make sure that there's no body rot. I believe I've already done that in the, uh, the video where it was in the showroom. But I mean, just to reiterate, this car is really clean, no body rot. You know, a lot of, a lot of times you see that on these things. This thing's gorgeous. Uh, my favorite part of the video, let's check out the engine. All right, guys, this is where the magic happens. This here obviously is a big block Chevy, but more specifically, it's a 396, board 60 over, so it's 402. Uh, the intake on it's an Edelbrock Performer, and uh, on top of that, the carburetor, as I had mentioned in the driving video, is a vacuum secondary uh, Holley 780 CFM carburetor off of a 1968 or 1969 uh, Z28 302 Camaro. Uh, it's, you have the DZ number on it, which uh, specifies it is so, and these carburetors are going for anywhere like around 800 bucks, something like that. It's a very nice carburetor, highly sought after. And uh, of course, this is a performance build for this engine, so it's very, very fitting. Um, it does have a slightly aftermarket cam in it, nothing too rumpity rump, but you know, it's, it uh, does have a little bit of a gained uh, horsepower and torque curve, as you can feel when you go to drive the car. Um, looks like the engine was just done up recently. I mean, you've got the, uh, the nice, uh, after, well, I should say stock, not aftermarket, but the redone manifolds on the car. Uh, heads look like they're uh, in good shape, you know, looks like they've uh, been cleaned up really nice. I uh, got a chrome timing cover on the thing as well. All of your hoses are, you know, nice and uh, firm, you know, none of that sloppiness that you get when they get older. You do have power steering on this car, and as I mentioned uh, on the underside of it, you have power brakes as well. Uh, HEI distributor in the back, which should be period correct for this car. Battery hold down doing its job. You can see that our uh, alternator obviously has been chromed up very nice. And is it a GM1 wire? It is indeed a GM1 wire alternator, so you have that added uh, charging system reliability that you have with this. Um, nice chrome brackets, all your pulleys are nice and chrome on the thing. Uh, fan on the front's brand spanking new and it does have a shroud so you don't have to worry about too many of like overheating and traffic issues, things of that nature. Um, like I mentioned below, you have a fresh alignment on this car. I can see shims that have just recently been put in the front end. Um, you do have a lot of greasable fittings on your upper control arm bushings, that's good. You can keep all those nice and good shape. Um, outside of that, fenders look good, the uh, firewall looks great. I mean, all the hoses look like they're intact. I mean, it really doesn't look to have been molested too badly. It actually looks like a really nice car. Radiator looks like it's in good shape. I mean, it's, it's just downright nice. And I'd like to also point out that your brake lines, it looks like everything up here has been replaced recently as well. So uh, that's not something you're gonna have to worry about for a very long time in this thing. I suppose that's just about it, guys. Well, if you'd like to have this thing uh, parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.